Black Lives Matter. I really wanted to talk about this. It's been on my mind to talk about it. As everybody knows, we all know what's going on in the world right now, and it's really not acceptable. Like, everything that's happening is devastating, scary, and disgusting. Some people are doing it in a more violent way, trying to be heard, and some people are doing it the right right way but i really honestly think everybody's trying to be heard and i really think people are sick of saying it so they're trying to show it in their actions and some people the actions are more you know like in a way that's not always right but i think every honestly i my honest opinion i think everybody's trying to be heard you know, whether it's what we're doing or what we're saying, we're just trying to be heard. And everything that's happening right now, rest in peace with George Floyd, is just devastating and sad. And it's really got to end. Like, everything that's happening, it got to, like, one day, it just, all this thing, everything that's happening, it just has to be an end to it. It's just sad that this has been happening for years. If you think back, like with slavery, it started from there, from slavery. And it's sad that now that, you know, we're free, we're not really free because it's like all this stuff is still happening to us. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's devastating. And the truth about it, how I feel, if it's happening to you know, our black brothers, men, boys, black women, black girls, it's like, it feels like they're your brother, you know, they're your sister, you know, they're your uncle, they're your your brother, just like, you know what I'm saying? It, feel, it feels like it's just his home, like, it really does, and I really think it's sad, and I feel like people need to be educated on this stuff because... I feel like racism has not, it's, it still exists. It's not something that stopped. Like, it started with slavery and it's still going on now. And it's just disgusting and just sad. And, and things just need to come to an ending. Like, things just need to stop. Police need to stop killing people. And at the end of the day, know that, you know, step back and think like this is a person this is somebody's brother this is somebody's sister this is somebody's uncle this is somebody's niece this is somebody's like cousin you know what i'm saying this is somebody's child this is somebody's father this is somebody's mother like it's not right we like we should not be judged by the color of our skin we should own we should not be judged by that. Character means everything. Your skin color has nothing to do with your character. And I, and I honestly, a big thing with what's going on, some white people, they're afraid of us. Like, they're afraid of us. People hate what they do not understand. People hate what they do not understand. Let me say that one more time. People hate what they do not understand and i feel like a lot i'm not gonna say a lot but most white people they're afraid of us so this is how they this is what they do and what they're doing is not right at the end of the day and they need to know it's not right it's not right and the people that were involved in the George Floyd's death, the murder, needs to be accountable for their actions. Everybody, everybody, the one, the ones that were standing there witnessing it, need to be accountable for their actions. Something needs to. The stuff that's happening right now is crazy. 
you know, we're seeing it, but this been happening for years. Like people have been protesting for years. Um, people have been trying to get people to hear us in any way. Some people, you know, are trying are being violent with it, and then some people are doing it the right way. But I think something needs to happen. Something needs to happen. It's just scary. Nobody should have to think about what's going to happen when they walk out the door because of everything that's happening. Nobody should walk around you know scared and another thing it's like the only way we get heard is by recording it shouldn't happen in the first place we people have to record what happens to the people that lose their lives, for people to hear us, for people to see us. It's sad. And rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives that nobody knows about due to, you know, racism and police. It's just sad and not right I really hope whoever is watching this really sits back and think about everything that I'm saying because what I'm saying is coming from my heart what I'm saying is coming from my soul I'm really speaking from my heart and my soul because it's sad it's really sad and devastating and it's just like we gotta sit down and talk to you know our black brothers and black sisters and everything like i have a little brother and it's just scary you know what i mean that the world is like this and especially to black men and black little boys. And it's just messed up. It's really messed up. And I just really feel for anybody that's been through what's going on right now, that has been, that's, that has known somebody that got killed by a police officer, or just know that they've been through racism and I feel for you, I really do. And I just hope that people get educated for the ignorant people out there, get educated because at the end of the day, what if it was you? What if it was you? What if it was your your brother? What if it was your sister? What if it was your dad, your mom? Like and I'm and I'm really talking to everybody, but especially white people that a race racist like period because i've dealt with it before i've dealt with racism before i've dealt with it and i know it's not a good feeling it's not a good feeling at all like you just could feel it you could just feel when somebody is judging you off of how you look you know what i mean you just could feel it you just know like come on you just know at the end of the day, you know, and it's not right. And most of these police officers, they think because of their uniform, most of them, or because they think they're above the law and they think that they shouldn't be accountable for their actions. But no, you should and you will be accountable for your actions. Because at the end of the day, God don't like God don't like ugly. He don't. He do not. At the end of the day, 
everything that's going on it's not right it's evil and it's disgusting and i hate it and i want it to end i want it to end i want people to feel safe when they walk out their homes wherever you live like i want people to not feel like they gotta watch their back when they walking down the street you know what i mean like it's not it's just messed up in so so many ways this is messed up in so many ways so many freaking ways and at the end of the day at the end of the day i'm gonna just pray pray that things get better and i pray for anybody that's going through what's happening in the world and go out there and protest in the right way spread your voice in any way that you can make your voice be heard educate people you know talk to people sit down and talk to people and just let your voice be heard in any way possible and i just thank you for anybody that watched this video and really just I, I hope that you really just thought about what i said and really just sat and really thought deeply about what i said and felt what i said and everybody stay safe out there and may peace be with you and god be with you and thanks for watching